Hi, in the previous video, we have seen how to use a public repository hosted on GitHub as a backend to our Spring config server. So this is the public repository URL which we have configured in the application properties and it is hosted on GitHub. Now let us try to switch to a private repository and see what is required to connect to a private repository and what are the various ways of connecting. In this video we will discuss HTTP basic authentication for connecting to a private repository and also an SSH key based authentication. So let us get started. So let me close this and let me change the application.properties to application.aml it will be more readable now let me get rid of this url and let me switch to chrome and bitbucket so bitbucket is an atlassian product and offers private repository hosting for free so let us create a repository here so we have two options either we can create a repository or import an existing repository i'll choose the import option and import this repository hosted on github into the bitbucket let us copy the url and provide it in the import form since it is a public repository we do not read we do not require any authorization and make sure that it is the access level is private click import repository so now the import has been successful and our repository is ready so we have got these files alpha dev alpha properties and beta ml now let us get the clone url for this particular repository and provide it in our properties file along with the url we need to provide the username and password as well to connect to our repository otherwise we would end up getting access related exceptions so let us provide the username and password so username is simply git dot username and password is the bitbucket password let me put it in quotations single quotations restart the application so the application has started fine let me switch to postman let me try to access the alpha properties file of profile default hit send if you notice there is a delay here it is taking some time to fetch the properties that is because we have not cloned the repository prior to this in case if you want to avoid this latency you can clone the repository while booting up the config server so now it has fetched the properties from the bitbucket you can switch this to dev profile and see yep now let us head back to sts and so this is how we configure a private repository and connect to that private repository using username and password this is one way of connecting to that repository here we are basically using http basic connectivity now let us see how we can configure SSH connectivity to our repository using a key based authentication. For this first we need to generate an SSH key pair of type RSA. The algorithm would be RSA. So you can do it in multiple ways. If you are a Linux user you can use OpenSSH. If you have installed PuTTY on your machine you will get a tool called PuTTY Gen and you can use it to generate the public private key pairs choose RSA for algorithm and click generate to generate a public slash private key pair hit generate it says move the mouse over the blank area for randomness so let us move the mouse okay now it has generated the public and private key pair so this particular block whatever is there in this particular block is the public key of the public slash private key pair so this is a public part so let us copy this and what we need to do is we need to go to our bitbucket and go to the settings section of it under security click on ssh keys 
so you will you will get this view here choose add key and paste the public key part of it whatever you have copied from here so the same thing you can paste it exactly here give some label to this key i am giving as config server key okay doesn't need to be exactly config server key it can be anything okay click on add key so it says that key isn't long enough we require rsa keys to be at least 2048 bytes let us switch to partition so we have seen it as the number of bits is 2048 so let us increase it to 4096 okay and try to regenerate yeah now the key is ready let us copy this public key part and try to enter it here i'll remove this and paste it again okay now try to add this key so now you are able to add this key we need to save the private key pair so before saving the private key pair we need to protect our private key with some passphrase so let me give some password i'm giving the password as secret123 from the conversions choose export open ssh key and give some name to it config server okay now let us head back to sjs and add the related configuration let us get rid of the username and password here and the first thing that we need to do is we need to add ignore local ssh settings so we need to add this ignore local ssh settings okay so that it doesn't refer to the ssh folder or as keys available within the ssh directory in your home directory so mark this property to true we need to pass the private key and the passphrase so the private key what you can do for the private key is you can paste the private key here so the convention is you just add a pipe symbol and then paste the content of the private key directly here so for that let me go here and open this private key to view the content and copy the copy the entire content and paste it here you can indent it okay okay you can add the indentation appropriately and now the next property is we need to provide the passphrase for this private key so let us try to add the passphrase which is secret one two three so with this we are almost done with the configuration and the only change is we need to add a ssh based url here further let us head back to our bitbucket go to the repository in the clone section instead of https choose ssh so you will get a different url here so copy this url and provide it in the properties file okay now try to start the application so looks like the application has started fine but let us verify whether it is working fine or not by trying to fetch some properties Yep, it has it is able to fetch the properties now. So now in case if you want to clone the repository while starting the application like while booting the config server itself if you want to clone the repository and keep it ready. So there is an option to do that. You provide the property clone on start as true which will enable the cloning of the repository while booting up itself so that it can save some time while you are requesting for the properties file after startup. So I have restarted the application now 
and see if it reduces any latency time in fetching the property files. Now it has taken a bit longer time to start because it has cloned the repository. Let us try to fetch the properties now. Yeah, this request was served quickly compared to the earlier one. This is how we configure HTTP basic authentication using username and password or key based authentication using SSH key. Thank you.